So here's the humerus, and we said that was a capsule. That's your word space, right? And then we have these low zones of linear, linear pathways that you can take to move with. But I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into this. Instead of having a nice salad bowl of opportunity to work in your capsule, your capsule looks like this. So now I'm going to add the lines of tension again. And now I'm going to tell you that because your joint space is restricted, we automatically are probably going to do this. And this joint, this bone, when I ask it to move, now, the shape of the capsule dictates where it goes. When I had a nice circle, this head could have gone in a variety of different areas. So if I push this way, this head could have gone in this part of this zone, or in that part of this zone, or in this part of that zone, or in that part of that zone. But if I put a force that way, I don't have a choice. This is going to end up in here. So here I have option where I can dissipate force over a variety of different lines. Here, I have no option. Whenever this head moves into that area of the space, this is the tissue that is going to be absorbing the force. You don't have a choice. So what is going to accumulate in this tissue? Energy. And what happens when too much energy is accumulated in an area that is unable to dissipate it appropriately? Little bang. Little bang. Let's not think of it now from an energy absorption capacity and an a, a injury standpoint. Let's think about it from a training standpoint. If you're training a joint that has great capsular space, you have access to more tissue to adapt. So if this was a circle, Let's, let's forget this. Let's say that this is a nice, healthy part of the capsule. Because when I move, I can move with variability, I will be able to access this line of tissue, that line of tissue. There's an infinite number of lines of tissue that I am able to access, and I am able to force it to learn how to absorb and dissipate more energy. What's the option over here? This is the only way place this can go. So the only thing that I can use to train is this stuff. So you know when someone tells you, they go, you know what, I'm doing pull-ups, but I don't feel it in my lap. You ever hear that? I'm pulling, but I don't feel it there. And everyone goes, oh, it's the nervous system. Something must be inhibited. It may, it's your glutes. Is it your glutes? 